Welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, I'm glad to have you here today. So here's my classroom so far. I put up my elephant and piggy, which the art teacher made for me last year. How nice is she? I have up my stuffy's elephant and I don't know his name. It's porcupine? Piggy, Pete the cat, and <gasps> How could I forget his name? Oh my gosh. But you know him. You guys know him, right? He is Biscuit. <gasps> Biscuit. His name is Biscuit. So sorry, Biscuit. Okay. Oh, Pigeon's right there. I'm going to put Pigeon up. I have Pete the Cat there. I got my calendar up here. I just didn't switch out the colors yet because I need to buy um that sticky tape, that double-sided thing. I have my today is, and then I have... The signs for math and reading. I'm going to put the standards there that we're learning. I have these words that students can use in their sentences, like to show time, for instance, first, second, next, add information, clarify, you know, just ways to make their sentences a lot more interesting. I went ahead and put up these pom poms here, and then I stuck my poster anchor chart, my post it anchor chart up here with that, I think they're scotch sticky tape or whatever it is. It's up here, hopefully it stays. And then I threw on the extra borders that I had up there just to make it look cute. So that's what that looks like. I've got my learn thing here. I just need to put some dry erase markers so it looks like that. I have up my map that I painted. I followed this from somebody else online, another teacher and that's awesome. I have my little stand, my rainbow one. I have my rainbow pointer, all from Target Staller Spot. And I have to go find the rest. They're hidden somewhere. On my easel, I have the class rules with some markers ready to go when the students get here on Monday. I have my reading board done with the clouds, the rainbow border, the different ways to reach the levels for reading. And this here came from Target's dollar spot. And I put the letters on. I have the students' names and the rainbows. Those rainbows came from Target's dollar spot this year. And I was thinking about putting the additional border. I just don't know if I have time. There's that painting I did and there's that, fl there's the flowers that another student gave me last year. And then I have my rainbow cart. I need to fill up this. I have these. I just need to fill them up to put my pens and stick that back on. I put up my what do writers do, my clip chart right there. I have my rockers, the balls for the students, and then that little basket to put my students' lunches in. I got that from Target on clearance this summer. And right now I just have the book bins out. I'm going to put in the caddies later after the parents meet the greet, meet and greet thing today. And here's all the books. I decided I'm going to go ahead and put them all in order. I've labeled some of my bins. I just have to label the rest and put this in order. I've already leveled the books. It's just a matter of me putting them in the right bins. So that might take me a long time. We're doing everyday math, so that stays here till the students come and then we'll label that. So, a lot to do, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna get it done, guys. As you can see, I have a ton of books that needs to be put away. And I've already done some, but it needs to be put away before two o'clock when the parents come because this place needs to look good. So, I am working as fast as I can and whatever doesn't get done is going in hiding because the parents can't see this. But in case you're wondering where I got all my books, um, the school provides some, parents have donated a lot. I got some from Donors Choose and the rest I bought myself. Through time, I've been buying a little at a time, maybe 20 to $40 worth each time. And it's slowly adding up and I'm hoping that majority of these will be mine in the end that I bought because it gets kind of confusing figuring out which ones belong to the school and which belongs to me, so I have to always make sure I label my books, but slowly getting done. I need to work faster. Guys, 
I've got all of the books set up. Those that are not set up are hidden, but how is this? It looks pretty good, don't you think so? Here is a look from far, and I am super excited. My bookshelf's looking really good. I just need to find the pointers because I know I have them in here somewhere. I just gotta get them out, but I'm loving the way the bookshelf looks, and they are all in order. See that? I labeled them by different error levels, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and so on. And I think it'll make it so much easier for the students to find the books they want. It's looking good. I just need to work on the chapter books now and the nonfiction next. But not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, take a look. My fan works here at my desk and it's amazing. And can I share my three favorite types of pens? Papermate flare pens, Papermate Ink Joy gel pens, and my Expo dry erase marker. Okay, so here's my room set up for appearance. And here's the books. <laughs> Not bad, right? Not bad for one hour's work. Here's the boxes. I just pile them on top of each other. And there you go. Ready to go. Well guys, the meet and greet went well and a lot of kids dropped off their things. Only seven kids came, but look at how much stuff they gave. I am so thankful this year because it really helps me out. I mean, yes, I did get all the crayons and everything ready. I bought all of that stuff already, but this is awesome because they can definitely use it to replenish throughout the year so i'm so grateful this year the students are amazing but take a look at this someone brought 20 markers i definitely wrote the name down of the student who owns this on the box because that's a lot of markers and it should be theirs so i marked that down and the scissors as well i put their name on it the headphones has that child's name on it as well but you know what I'm really excited about? This is so crazy. I'm excited about the Clorox wipes, the Kleenex, and the Ziploc bags because, guys, the kids go through these so quickly. And if you're wondering what we use the Ziploc bags for, it's to hold things like headphones and some other little things. So this is awesome. It's been a good meet and greet, a really good supply drop off i'm happy well guys this is it my classroom is set up as much as i can get it set up today i just need to go through this i'll do that on monday i've got piggy and elephant there i've got my stuffed animals here my number line is up got pete the cat i need to find the rest of this which i'll do monday my books are all set i've got Today is, and I put Monday, August 12th, 2019, math and reading will have their standards and that spot up here is going to have what specials we have during that day, whether it's PE or art or any other important thing like assemblies. I have my number chart, 1 to 120, that I got from Target Seller Spot. My calendar, I know I didn't switch it because I did not get the extra tape that I need. I've got some dry erase pens this little pink thing will hold their or the students um ids and passwords for the computer program we use we've got our alphabets today is which i mentioned the calendar and then on this side i have an extra tray and caddy i've got my post-it anchor chart this little sign that says learn i need to put dry erase markers there i've got the pom-poms that also came from target the flag here's the matte painting i did i followed one of the teachers that did this on i think pinterest no instagram that's where i saw it i've got the classrooms posters ready to go i do have dry erase markers and regular chart markers there so I can make this permanent. I'm gonna do this with the kids on the first day. I have my reading board all set up with the kids' names on there, ready to go. Here are more of the supplies they brought in that I need to put away on Monday. I've got my wobble stools, which my students love. 
I've got my picture up there, flowers the students brought me, my rainbow cart, some of the books up here, my markers, my computer set up with my fan, and my pillow from Target. I have that there. I can't show my name, so I'll show you that part of that. I have this little warmer, which I got from a Secret Santa at school. My wardrobe set up. I have this, which I got online. I can't remember where, if I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers or I just found it online. And this clip chart that another teacher gave to me years ago, which is going really good. And all I did was use the clips that I got from Target a couple years ago right here for the students. I number it so that their names are not on it. I have my rockers that I got from Big Lots and Wayfair Online. To hold them, I got this basket from Big Lots. These are the balls they get to use and that, can, that bucket there is going to hold their lunches. I have a globe, I need to put that up there. And that is it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day, guys!